and welcome. This is Alex here of Advice by Alex on Etsy, and I'm here to do your daily angel card reading for Monday, April 18th, 2021. I want to thank you for stopping by and giving me a listen to. And if you like this channel, I ask that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you get all the future uploads of all of my videos as well. And if you too would like to get a personalized angel reading with me, I will leave all that information in the description box below. Sorry, I just ate some lunch and I always, whenever I eat, I always like have to clear my throat. I don't know why. It's like a thing now that I got older. When I was younger, it never used to be like that, but now it's like, <clears throat> like that. But hopefully you guys had a really good Easter and everything like that. And that you had a really good start uh, to your week so far. Um, so you might notice a little change of pace here. I am recording this video on my cell phone. Um, because, of course, the one when I want the computer that I normally do my recording at, my little one here broke the keyboard. So now I have to order a new keyboard, which is about 200 bucks. So, because it's um, an Apple computer, so um, I do have to replace the keyboard, um, which I am planning on eventually getting a new key or a computer um, at the end of the year for when I go back into school, um, because of the fact that I want to get a. Um, regular computer that is a Dell or something very similar uh, to a Dell. Um, I already have one in mind, but I just got to save up for the uh, computer. But um, and this little one <clears throat> was a bad boy. And during that time, he definitely got it yelling at for that one. Um, but I was like, you know, <clears throat> naughty, naughty, naughty. Um, but yeah, so that was there. So that's the reason why. But hopefully everybody had a really good Easter and a safe Easter as well. Um, I was able to do um, my Easter. I was able to go to my grandma's house in Worcester, Ohio, which is about an hour and a half away. Um, so it was a very long day of driving yesterday um, there and back. Um, but I was um, able to make it there safely and back safely. So... And it was a really good, enjoyable time. We had some ham. We had some carrot cake, which my best friend made me a uh, homemade carrot cake. And everybody knows that carrot cake is the way to my heart. So if everybody wanted to win me over, carrot cake is the way to go for that one. Just putting it out there. Um, especially homemade one, not the store-bought or anything like that. Because I'm very, very picky of the store-bought one. Um, I don't like it too sweet. I have to have the right amount of sweet um, for me to be able to eat it. Because if it's too sweet, it's like, ugh. Um, but anyway, that's kind of there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what it is. So I'm going to try to get all the um, readings done for the week and stuff. And then also um, the weekly as well, uh, which I feel really bad and about not doing the full moon and everything like that, which is in Libra, which I normally love to do. Um, and it's definitely been affecting me energetically. Um, but this past week was really stressful and everything like that. It's been a lot going on on my end. Um, I also had to complete my taxes, um, which is stupid. Um, <laughs> um, and things like that. But I actually had to request an extension of my taxes because I'm waiting for one of the forms to be mailed out for me from uh, my insurance because it was a 1095A form and I had to include that in the stupid thing because otherwise it would be rejected. Um, which everything was really good and everything else was perfect. I, For doing my taxes the first time, it was very... Uh, blah. A fairly simple process and everything like that. So that is definitely always a good thing and everything like that. So, 
But otherwise, enough of me babbling um, and everything. Um, and let's get here to the message. What does everybody on YouTube need to know for Monday, um, April 18th? 2022. What does everybody need to know? Ooh, interesting that that came out. Wow, okay. So the first card here from the Angel Prayer Deck by Kyle Gray here is Trust Your Vibes. And it is, thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. What the angels are really telling me, now this is all about a time of learning to honor your intuition and learning to trust your intuition. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. what the angels are really saying with this one is all about allowing ourselves to open our heart. And when we are not trusting our own intuition, things tend to not go directly our way. So it's a lot about allowing our paths to be able to go forward. <clears throat> and I do have an example, a personal example of when I was not trusting my intuition and versus trusting my own intuition, which we as intuitives that do readings for other people also go through the same process because we are human. <laughs> um, so that is definitely there. Um, and especially when it's like a big thing of like trusting our intuition. It's just kind of like um, allowing ourselves to go with the flow. Um, so that's basically there. Um, so the story is when I was working at the hotel, because I, I did work at a hotel in between case management and doing this full time. Um, now when I was working at the hotel, I mainly did that out of ego because I was afraid of the what is and also the financial security and things like that. Um, but, um, that is also there. But when I went, when I went to the hotel, I did it out of fear. And I was there for a while and there were some lessons there. And, but when it was meant for me to leave, it was meant for me to leave because, um, things kept happening where I took a days off and things like that. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to put in my two weeks, uh, because of the fact that I realized that the universe wanted me to leave at this time. Now, when I did, it was a very smooth transition into working full time. So, and that was the right thing to do. <clears throat> now for me, I did feel a lot of uh, relief after I did that, you know? Um, but again, we all are about choosing our path and choosing our destiny. <clears throat> and I do feel like this is re in relation to, to choosing our path and what options that are available. So um, right now, it's kind of like the same thing. I do have an opportunity to work at a company uh, to be able to go back into the workforce and um, doing like the interviewing process and things like that. Um, and I do feel like it's the right move as well, <clears throat> especially as my business is growing and things like that, and I am able to move forward. It is just allowing things to be able to build. Um, and then also I do feel that it'll be helping me prepare for when I go back to school as well. So that will be like one of the things and stuff where I know it'll prepare me for going back to school. So that is like the option. So, and I do feel at peace with the decision and things like that. And I did talk to my um, guides and stuff. My guides' names are Samuel and Sarah. And uh, I was like to them, why are we going down this path when you wanted me to work at home? They were like, there are lessons. 
and everything that we do there are lessons involved so um i do feel like it is meant for me to go back in there so that i can learn even in depth things that i didn't even know uh before because every job that we have is always a learning opportunity for growth so that is a reason for trusting our vibes and we're almost nearing the mercury retrograde which will be happening in may and it's always when it's around the mercury retrograde time is that <laughs> um i repeat a lesson or something like that or i learn more lessons of doing whatever path um that it is but i do feel that this is the path that my guides want me to go down so i'm going to listen to them so the next card here is that we have is peace and harmony with archangel raguel thank you raguel for surrounding me or surrounding my life in harmonious light so this is all about justice is what the angels are saying and then this is about uh karmic payouts coming into play so uh things evening out karmic ties and lessons as well so allowing yourself to trust in the process of clearing out uh karma and having things become balanced once again so and that is definitely the messages for the day and until next time everybody i send you so much love god bless you angel blessings and if you too would like to get a reading from me i will leave all that information in the box below as well until next time guys sending you so much love take care god bless you and i will talk with you very soon bye everybody